This is a situation that our haters won't like, but it's absolutely normal for us. The checks are over, and the tax authorities have improved VAT reimbursement for us. That's why, thanks to the professional work of our team, we will get millions of rubles back into the project. This is good news. At least, it's good news for all of us. Speaking the language of the tax authorities and regulatory bodies, our project, our company, Triple O Sobel Mash, is now in the green zone. Not in the gray, black or red, but in the green one. It means that we have passed all checks, there are no comments or claims to us, no faults, no doubts. No illegal or dubious activity. So, our further work will be based on these premises. I suppose that despite the fact that our further activity is getting more and more complicated, we will continue to maintain accounting and do business very accurately, thoroughly, prudently and with no slip-ups or mistakes. And we will be conscientious taxpayers. The next item of the agenda that I need to point out now is something I mentioned at the last webinar, and it is the fact that we have equipped, to be more precise, we have been making repair works in the winding area. I can say that the repair works are completed. Now we have started mounting and connecting the equipment. I hope that next week the first activities will start in the area. We have all premises for that. The work is being done in accordance with the plan and depends on us only, so there are no delays here. It will allow to reduce the load in the laser cutting and metal processing area, because now the area is very cluttered up. The equipment is stacked, it became almost part of the storage facilities. We have quite serious shortage of premises and it curbs our capabilities in shaping and extending our team. We can't hire a person just like that. We need to provide the employee with a workspace, PC, so that it is comfortable to work. Now we are experiencing very serious shortage of premises. And at the same time, we lack professionals in certain areas. We were asked about Arrestov. Dear colleagues, Arrestov is now in Bangkok on a business trip. When he gets back, he will get in touch with us and the activities will continue. The thing is that lately we have completed adjusting the Epstein machine that can be used for determining the properties and quality of electrical steel. And I am pleased to say that electrical steel produced in Russia fully complies with the specifications stated in the certificate. Now, we will try to purchase 
samples of electrical steel produced in China. We will do it in order to choose the best alternative to the Russian steel we used for our motors. To continue working on producing the first batch of motors developed by us. Without this, it is impossible. We can't do this blindfoldedly. These are unnecessary risks. We won't take them. And we have one more question. In order to start selling rotating electric machines produced in partnership with China or with a Russian enterprise, we need to certify these motors. To undergo certification, we need to make prototype models and maintenance documentation and other company documents, not to mention specifications and everything else. And the issue is the following. The operating instructions manual is a rather serious document. It's not when you buy motors and it has something attached to the nameplate or a piece of paper put right under the box. This is a serious document consisting of 60, 70 A4 pages the result of in-depth research. This is rather serious work. This work is being done, the proprietary activities. At the same time, in order to be able to certify, we need to complete all external laboratory certification activities. Everything has been done for that. We have checked the insulation resistance, earth resistance, confirmed the properties of power supply mains, and so on. All the requirements have been met, all documents have been submitted. As I said at the last webinar, we are waiting for the decision on this issue. One week is over, there is one more week to go. And we also need to make a serious tap to document the batch production, we need to organize quality management. This is the so-called quality management, as it is called in the West. It is specified in GOSTs, state standards, everywhere. It says what is required at all stages, starting from development, and ending with the transfer of goods to the customer, their maintenance, and so on. The control is required at all stages and it's necessary to specify how and what procedures have been completed for that. We need to organize and complete the stages. And this is the laboratory where motors are tested. It's a high quality laboratory fitted with the equipment that has been checked. It has external certification, qualified workers, and this is one of the aspects of quality management. Another aspect is complying with the requirements of existing GOSTs, both Russian and international requirements. All this work is being completed simultaneously with the technical, organizational and financial issues. That's why I hope that we will succeed in completing this work. Anyway, we have successfully dealt with all other tasks and the first shipment of our product to the customer is right around the corner.